All right, so today we're taking a look at, well, Rock Bottom. And I know I have this thing against Rock Bottom on my channel, and I made that one meme video about Rock Bottom, and a lot of people disliked it, and I thought it was hilarious. But today we're taking it seriously. I want to look at the statistics and find out, is Rock Bottom actually overpowered? Because there's two sides of YouTube. The people that say, oh, Rock Bottom's just meh, whatever, it rarely helps anyway. And the side that say, Rock Bottom is the best item in the entire game. How dare you? Oh, I almost just bombed myself. How dare you offend my Rock Bottom? It's it's everything to me. We're going to look at the items that at least I personally believe make Rock Bottom broken and how likely it is you'll find them in the run. All right, so my list of broken items with Rock Bottom is 2020, Inner Eye, Mutant Spider, Monstro's Lung, D8, Ipecac, Kidney Stone, and Soy Milk. I know there are other cases to be made. I know Berserk's really good. I know stuff like Devil Cards are pretty good, and it will help. However, I don't think those are broken. I think those are good with how rare Rock Bottom is. Like, you know, if you get a damage up or two from it, it's fine. But we're looking at stuff that change your run completely and make it much better and i know also stuff like tech x and brimstone could be on this list but i don't think it is super super powerful to have that i think it's just okay a high rate of fire brimstone is okay and obviously combining with other stuff like kidney stone can really break things but we're not looking at multiple item synergy so for those of you who don't know what i mean by broken let's give ourselves the best example kidney stone all right so we have kidney stone here which will multiply your tier rate by six six times when you finish this which just gave me a 15 rate of fire and it can get a lot higher if you get stuff like soy milk before it but this right now is my permanent rate of fire this is game winning i mean there's no other way to put it this rate of fire is broken look at baby plum this is with zero damage upgrades and in case you're wondering damage upgrades work perfectly fine because kidney stone is not a damage down multiplier so you can still stack damage normally and it is broken and another item soy milk here we have 5.19 damage 15 rate of fire. Obviously worse than kidney stone because if you get damage upgrades, they don't work. Like, at all. Now they can work. It's not like you can't get damage upgrades. Like if we give ourselves polyphemus, we get 0.97 damage. But that's not very good. I mean, obviously our run is still like already won. Yeah, even without all the growth hormones, you can ignore those. Oh, and come, you know, I'm... Been really trying to get this item for a modded run. In general, really good and broken. I mean, it is. This is a what run winner right here. And here we have Ipecac. It is base rate of fire Ipecac. Obviously, it's a little weird because it's Ipecac, which is dangerous. But let's just take Rock Bottom off to see our fire rate. 0.91. 1.82 fire rate now. That is a huge difference and overall is a broken synergy. Well, what about D8? Why is it on the list? D8 rerolls your stats. Every time you use it, it is just a stat upgrade. I believe there's a limit to it. However, just by spamming this button, which will take a good few rooms... We are getting an all stats upgrade beyond a reasonable amount. I mean, our damage is up to 5.4. Our tiers are already capped. Our range is huge. It is not the most busted thing, but every time you use it, it is a stat up active item. That is huge. Like I said, there is a cap to it. But either way, being able to get this item and get to 5 rate of fire, like really, really good range and 6.7 damage, there is nothing wrong with that. This is really good. And naturally with Mutant Spider, we get to keep our base tier rate with Quad Shot, which is so freaking good. It will make getting tiers up harder in the future, but even base rate of fire Quad Shot is good rate of fire Quad Shot. And this isn't including synergies with Kidney Stone and other stuff on top of it. This is just base item. So from my list of items that I think are overpowered, I mean run winning or game breaking with Rock Bottom at the beginning, there is a total of eight items. Eight items total. All of them are in the treasure room, but two of them are also in the crane games. With the eight items in the item pool, that gives you about a 2.3% chance per item room to get one of the items that would be considered broken with rock bottom and a 2.1% chance per crane game. There are six item rooms per game and you can average, I would say I average one crane game a game, if that, if not less, sometimes two, but sometimes zero. So 2.3% chance six times and 2.1% one time. This is also assuming you find rock bottom first or else this doesn't even work. 
There are really good items too, like Thunder Thighs, you don't get the speed down. Skinny Odd Mushroom, you do not get the damage down. There's some really good items, but these are the ones I think are actually broken and run winning on their own. And I'm probably missing a couple. If I'm missing something obvious, please let me know. I like seeing the times where I am dumb. But yeah, with only a 2.3% chance per item run with the six you get in a game, and that's well not accounting for the trinkets that give you item rooms and blah, 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 rerolls. None of that's accounted for. I know this is just base. You don't have a D6. You don't have any fancy trinkets. You're just getting the six item rooms. You do not have a high chance. You have a small chance to break the game with it. Is the item good? Yes, it, it's good. Okay, it, it'll be really good. Is it really good for like Tainted Cane if you knew the recipe? Yeah, obviously. But on a normal run, if you see rock bottom... It's not going to be the same as finding an Echo Chamber, even an R key. An R key letting you play the game twice, getting double the items. It is going to be either the best thing you've ever gotten, or just like a, an, an okay upgrade, like maybe six damage total and like some speed in tears. It's just fine, right? I do not think it's overpowered at all. I think the item is okay and balanced. It's not even a quality four, and I think there's a good reason. That's just my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you a rock bottom believer? Do you believe rock bottom is the most overpowered item in the game or at least up there? Or do you think it is just fine and genuinely balanced? But anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you please, and I will see you next time.